Well, unfortunately, on Tuesday, Brian Rasika could not make it 12 out of 13 winners over the past four weeks. This is 59 winner number three in a row. Went down in flames. I think it was the New York Yankees, in fact, in that one, a 59 play. But hey, you know, what can you say? 11 and 2 over the past four weeks. I think you can certainly live with that. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here. And this, of course, is going to be your Wednesday video report. Going to get a free play on uh, the next game, in fact, in that Yankees Kansas City series, a series that the Royals have owned so far the first two nights. Let's talk about some hot handicappers here. You know, yesterday, for the second time in three days, I turned to Brad Wilton for the $5 play of the day release. And he cashed in once more with a 40 dime winner his fifth in a row with the Dodgers and Diamondbacks staying under the total. And of course, you just got his AL East total of the year winner on Sunday with the Yankees and the Orioles well under the number as well. Today, as he goes for winning day number six out of seven, he's got his 100 dime max wager winner number four out of five, but this time it's on the Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks side as LA looks to complete a 3-0 sweep in the series. Coming into the series, of course, Arizona had won five straight games, and they had owned the Dodgers earlier this year in their previous meetings. So he's hit five straight 40-dime plays. This, of course, is two-and-a-half times stronger. 100-dime max wager winner number four out of five, and it also happens to be the half-price play of the day, guys. Today, simply use Brad's last name, Wilton, W-I-L-T-O-N. It's right there on the website, and that will get you his play today for half-price. Now, maybe you want to go ahead and make your own discount today. Well, save $24 off a single purchase today of anything at the site. A handicapper's pick, a handicapper's package, any type thing here at the site, simply by using coupon code ABC24. ABC24. And finally, coming back with the $5 play of the day once more. You know, I started... I actually resumed doing these because I had forgotten to do them for a number of months. I resumed doing these right at the beginning of the NBA playoffs because at the time I told you I wanted to show you guys out there. There's always been such hesitance among gamblers about betting totals. So many of the handicappers will be the first to tell you here that it's easier sometimes to win the totals than it is to win the sides. And so many of these guys have excelled with totals plays. But you, the gambling public, often you don't like them. It's not like when you go to the cashier's window, they pay you half amount of money on winning total as opposed to an equivalent bet for a winning side. It's the same payoff, you know? Well, I would say that since the beginning of the NBA playoffs, you have made a fortune uh, with total selections, the majority of which I've given you as the $5 play of the day. I mean, it has been a phenomenal run. Has to be. Has to be over 70%, maybe even 75% over the past three months. Today, $5 play of the day. Let's look for another winner. Turning to Jeff Benton, who has his second biggest play of the entire season. Season. This is a 50 dime play. Uh, you can save $55. You can get the play tonight. And um, it is Jeff 5. Jeff 5. J E F F. And the number 5 will get it for you. Um, something else going back to yesterday Shawn Michaels, who had hit 50 dime plays on Friday, which you got for $5, Saturday, Sunday, and then a 100 dime play on Monday. He was going for 100 dime winner number two in a row last night. Came up on the way short end of the Tigers on the run line, minus $1.30. Uh, getting crushed at home by the White Sox. Chicago, a team that couldn't score runs for weeks on end, suddenly explodes in the seventh inning last night. Still, Shawn Michaels coming back today with 50 dime winner number four in a row. Interleague game of the year, your Oakland-Pittsburgh side. A's looking to sweep that three-game series. The Pirates looking to snap a four-game slide. 50 dime winner number four in a row. And the bottom line is this. Yes, he lost that 100 dime winner number two in a row last night, but still hit four out of five the past uh, five days. 100 dimer and four, uh, 350 dimers along the way. Trace Adams going for winning day number 10 out of 12 today. Uh, normally a 1,000 star play, of which he's won seven of his last nine, is his best bet today. Raised the bar 1,500 star winner number three in a row. Uh, just hit a 50, uh, 1,500 star play last night on the Atlanta Braves on the run line, getting the job done at Miami. Another one going this evening. And uh, let me just see if there's anybody else I should be mentioning to you. Oh, yeah, Brett Atkins. Remember, it was last Friday that Atkins hit his big 100 dime revenge game of the year play on the New York Yankees that particular night. Uh, Atkins, I mentioned to you yesterday, had the exact same total winner as Wilton did yesterday, um, which was LA and Arizona under. So today he's going for winning day number six out of nine. So anyway, that's a rundown of who's hot and uh, who's not. 
And uh, let's get to uh, your free pick here. Guys, I'm going to go with the New York Yankees and Dylan Nova at home here. What? Playing maybe a dollar thirty-five against Kansas City and Wade Davis. Now, Ivan Nova um, is coming off a three-hitter and a three-two win against Baltimore last Friday, a game which the Yankees rallied for two in the ninth to win the game for him. This is his fourth start since being recalled from the minors. Um, he's faced Tampa Bay at home, uh, Baltimore at home, Baltimore on the road, and in twenty-one and a third innings pitched, he's given up sixteen hits, seven runs, struck out twenty-two and only walked four. Those are all positive numbers, especially those last two. 22 Ks versus four walks and just about 22 innings for Nova. Now, Wade Davis comes into this game for the Royals with a 5.42 earn run average. Teams are hitting 322 against him this season. That is the worst number in all of baseball for a starting pitcher. 322 teams are batting against him. He's got a 6.81 earned run average in eight previous road starts this season uh, and seven starts against the Yankees. Two and four. Remember Davis for many years pitched for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. He has a 5.80 earned run average in those seven starts. Uh, the team, uh, the Royals, have lost his last three starts, six of his last eight. Uh, listen, Kansas City, as I mentioned earlier, has taken the first two games in the series by scores of 3-1 and 5-1. I think it's time for the Yankees, even though they are certainly not hitting the ball. I mean, I granted, they have lost three in a row, and they've scored just one little run in each one of those games. I mean, you look at the lineup, and you go, God, these guys should be playing in triple A. But I still think they're worth the investment tonight. I mean, listen, you know, what a streaky team. They've lost three in a row. Before that, they won six in a row. Before that, they lost five in a row. Hey, might as well start a new streak in the Bronx going to the positive side here this evening. So anyway, that's your free pick. Best of luck to you all, guys, and I'll catch you again on Thursday morning.